Very well, thank you, gents. How are you both? All good, all good. Yeah, we're good. It's an honour to meet you, by the way. Absolute hero <laughs> in my eyes. Oh, it was a very kind of you to say, mate. Uh, obviously, you do pretty well yourself in your career. So. Thank you, thank you. So, how are you feeling, Gary, here at NFL? Um, first of all, you're a big NFL fan? I became an NFL fan, croaky, about 30 years ago. Oh, wow. So, you are, you are die harder then. I was out in the States on holiday and uh, got some friends. We went to, I was in Miami and we got to go to a function and met uh, Dan Marino, who was the quarterback wow. of the, uh, the Dolphins. So, I became a bit of a Dolphins fan then. So, yes, I mean, I'm not a person that would travel around the world to watch NFL, but uh, obviously, <laughs> right on our doorstep uh, it's now coming to Europe more and more often hopefully even more in the future so yeah no I've been uh, I'm looking forward to it very much wow Dan Marino one of the greatest callbacks ever to not win a Super Bowl I mean it's quite wow. frightening that he didn't win one Absolutely, you know, outstanding player. Like the Harry Kane of um, NFL. <laughs> <laughs> no, obviously oh, you've no, said... Don't, don't go there. <laughs> I know. I when he said that, that I didn't think, oh. It was very early. He got in very early with Did that one. I had to. I Do had to. Know, he's, Gary. Spurs he's a Spurs fan. Well. Hey, it is what it is. We're playing. But look, we'll talk about Spurs in a minute. But of course, when we talk about it now, Ange Postacoglu, the start to his, his tenure, what have you made of it? That's been an incredible start. I don't think that anybody imagined when he first came in that uh, we get quite a quick, uh, such a quick turnaround. Mm. Of course, uh, you know, Andrew's done very well in Australia, in Japan, and of course at Celtic. But um, to be honest, you know, coming to the Premier League, it's a very different level. And I've known a lot about Ange uh, over the years because obviously I've got a lot of friends in Scotland. Uh, Richard Goff, who's a very close friend of mine, I played with here at Spurs. And uh, I spoke to him about him. He said, no, he's got great recommendations and people will say he's a great coach Man manager of players is the best asset that he has and he wants his players to express themselves so when we signed him to me that was uh, exactly what we needed um, you know the last couple of years have been uh, a bit hard to watch at times mm -hmm. and suddenly uh, the players weren't playing with a smile on their faces but uh, suddenly and just come in and he's allowed the players to go out there to express themselves be very offensive get at the opponents basically ask questions from the very first whistle mm. put the opponents under pressure get at them there were times when you know we weren't doing that in the last uh, couple of seasons mm. whereas Spurs that's what we have to do get at teams but where and just being fantastic and he's not just an offensive attacking manager whatever you do in life you've got to lay foundations okay yep. now he's come in he's brought in a couple of players Van der Ven has been outstanding. Mm. <laughs> Him and Romero now can make a very, very solid partnership like uh, we had with, uh, you know, with Jan Vertonghen and, and Toby a few years ago. Mm. They could be together for five years there. They're working well together. You've got Udogi at left back. You've mm. got Poro at right back. Those four across the back, with Vicario at the back behind them in goal, you've got a very solid back five mm. that allows James, that allows Basuma, that allows Saar, everybody in front of them to go out and play. Yep. And so that's what we've got now. We've got a solid foundation, but it's all sprung into life with, you know, James Madison has been outstanding. Mm. Uh, I think he's a player we should have bought maybe a couple of years ago because um, he's a player that I think we've needed. Uh, he's come in there and he's slotted in ideally. He's moved down to London. He's got a lovely family. He's loving life at the moment. Life's treating him well. Yep. And he loves going out on the field to play. So, yes, it's been an incredible turnaround. I mean, to play eight games in the Premier League, six wins, two draws, top of the table. Uh, who would have thought that uh, two or three months ago? <laughs> it, it certainly feels like a transition period for Spurs. And as you said there, do you think it's even more impressive? You brought in the likes of James Madison, who's been absolutely fantastic. Listen, you've lost arguably one of the greatest players in your club's history, your all-time record goal scorer in Harry Kane. A lot of people would have looked at Tottenham and thought, do you know what, they're going to struggle without his goals. It's been the complete opposite. Has that even surprised you a little bit? It's not surprised me so much as far as the Harry Kane departure mm -hmm. because, I mean, guys, you've both been in the game for a long time and, you know, sometimes when there's a player like Harry, he's trying to do... Last year, he was dropping back into yeah. midfield all the time, mm. trying to be a number 10, but we need him as a striker. And then when a player like that leaves, there are other players that suddenly... Players that were perhaps not coming to the fore, players who weren't stepping up because Harry was in control, he was the top man, of course he was. He's, he's been an absolute legend for this football yep. club. But when a player like that leaves, I've been at this club when you know, Glenn Hoddle's left, when Ojo Diliz has left, when Gary Lineker's left. When well, they weren't bad. Exactly. <laughs> wow. So, so every time when they leave, everything, oh my God, what's going to happen? Mm. Players are very stoical. You know guys what we're like. It changes all the time. Football changes, the manager changes, the players change constantly. 
when it when changes happen, you just deal with it, get on with it, and make the best of what you've got. And I mean, players have to step up. I think players have stepped up. There. We've I seen agree. Man United, Basuma and Saar in the second half, and Madison, they totally, totally controlled that midfield. Yeah, they did. They did. I mean, I, I, I never come on air ever and say Spurs are title challengers, but I mean, my, my earliest and probably favourite memory, 1990, 1991 FA Cup, and I think I was six, seeing you lift the FA Cup trophy. Do you feel those moments are going to return at this football club. Can I just say, you just did it again. You said, OK, when you lifted the cup when I was six, it's like, oh, <laughs> you make me feel like a real life <laughs> Yeah, cheers. Hero, hero. <laughs> but but when, I, when I look at it, guys, I mean, you, you can't get carried away. We've only had eight games, not even a fifth of the season yet. And yet, having said that, I look at the other teams in transition, Chelsea, Manchester United, yeah, they're, they're not having a great time at the moment. Mm. Teams at the top, Man City have not yet hit the form we expect from them. Arsenal are not doing what I was expecting so far. So there's a lot of teams there that haven't quite got to the level they we expect them to be at. We've come in and we've gone out there and we've played some fantastic football, enjoyable football, and we've got results. Yes, some people may say, game against Sheffield United, you scored two in the last, you know, in mm. the in injury time. Liverpool game, well, everyone knows that yeah. now. It should have been a goal for Liverpool. Maybe a draw would have been a fairer result, mm. but we got the points. We're going to take anything we can get. Yep. And, of course, we're laying top of the table now. It's been nice because you had that nice international break that lets everyone see, oh, we're actually up there. We've made a statement in these first eight games to the other clubs saying that we're going to be there. And so now, you know, we're in a great position. Now, yes, of course, you've got to hold on to it. You've got to maintain the form, the continuity, the consistency. All those things have to be brought in. I think that Ange is a manager that you, you, have, you, know, you have good managers, good coaches. But the great coaches are the ones that make everybody around them better players, better staff, better people, better human beings. I think Ange has got that in him, the way he deals with his players on an individual basis and as a team. We're seeing Tottenham now playing like a team, whereas the last couple of years, maybe they've been playing more as individuals. And like last year, we didn't have a particularly great season, but Harry Kane got you know, yeah. an amazing number of goals. Mm. So, yes, I think we're getting the team spirit together. We're getting the... The best thing about it is, is that when you come to a match now, the players come out on the field and the fans arrive at the stadium with a smile on their faces. Yeah, of course. And it's been incredible to watch the football we've been playing because... Um, yeah, some of the players that really you thought last year you saw a couple of times really are they going to actually make it here they've Bezuma. stepped up to the mark yeah. Ow, absolutely incredible so yes I mean uh, Sonny being made captain what a great decision that was mm. you know, Sonny uh, Sonny's a great lad fantastic lad you want him to do well his hat trick he scored a couple of weeks ago and now you're seeing him more and more getting involved with players on the field talking to players on the field those around him respect Sonny mm. and he's got younger players around him now he's a senior figure and hopefully, you know, we are going in the right direction. And uh, yes, you're never going to get carried away, but mm. we're certainly going to put pressure on those at the top of the table. Yep. Absolutely. Gary, listen, we really appreciate your time. Thanks for joining us. Absolute legend, Spurs legend here at home at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Thanks for joining us and enjoy the game this afternoon. Cheers, guys. An absolute Thank pleasure. You Thank very you. Much. Thank you. Let me check you in first.